This is Joe Schwein from uh, Cool Metal, and uh, we're getting ready to uh, disassemble our new 40 degree bolt on pro street kit for the uh, street glide we're building here. And um, it comes to you assembled so you can see how it goes back together. And basically, as you're taking it apart, you'll know just to reverse that when you're going to put it on the bike. So, the first thing that has to come apart in this assembly is get the top triple tree off of it. That'll just pull right off the shaft, set it to the side. Then the next thing we're going to do is bring the stub shaft assembly off the lower tree assembly. And that's done just by taking off the two lock nuts. Pull your stub, stub shaft assembly off. Remove the top bearing now. Basically, the last thing we have to do is pull the three-quarter ten bolt out of the bottom section. Remove the three-quarter ten bolt. And now you have your parts, your four pieces to put on to start assembly on the bike. It's pretty simple. The, um, the lower block will go up into the race. And the races have been removed from this. You get your three-quarter ten bolt, comes up from the top. Start it threading on your top stub shaft block. Now once you got the bolt going and everything, what you kind of want to do is make sure your front stub shaft block is lined up square with the front of the bike. Then you can drive it up in there. And once you have it set here, what you want to do is put about 110 foot-pounds of torque on the bottom bolt so you can make sure the lower block is seated. And once you're sure this block is seated, you've got two set screws here. And you can see that the, the block is aligned with the frame of the bike. You're, bike, you're going you're gonna to set these set screws down. And this setup here stops any kind of rotation in this bottom block at all. Once you have this in and set, then what you're going to do is you're going to loosen up the three-quarter ten bolt so you can get the top block back out of the assembly. I'm going to back this almost all the way out. So now that we got the uh, bolt back down about halfway out of the top block, we can smack the bolt and bring the top piece back loose. We're going to remove the bolt and then we're going to grab our what we call our front spacer shaft and our anti-rotation for the top block, which it's tongued so it only go down in the assembly one way. Once you have that sitting there somewhat together, then you're going to go ahead, you're going to put your bolt back in. And that there will finish off your, your top um, stub shaft assembly on this lower bolt mechanism now on the three quarter inch bolt. You're going to want to pull 225 foot pounds of torque on it with the torque wrench. And nothing in here should spin or move. This is keyed now to match the lower block. So now we're ready for the tree assembly. Okay, now we're going to install the uh, upper and lower triple tree. And uh, to install the lower, you're just going to stick it up through, just like you would on the regular neck of a motorcycle. Put your top bearing in. Put your first lock nut on. 
And basically, we set all our trees on the torque. We set them to three and a quarter pounds of breakaway torque with the bearings, just the bottom tree on and the bearings using a fish scale. Uh, that's how we've, uh, we set our trees. Get a wrench and then you use a, uh, one of your crescent wrench or anything for the top nut to get this on. Make sure you break in the grease. And you got your top knot lock, locking nut on. And go ahead and lock these together. <clears throat> there your lower tree is on. And once again, you already had your upper tree assembly there. Stick that assembly on with your washer. And the top nut. Basically, at this point, what we do is we just leave this a little bit loose on the top nut while we get the forks installed into the bike. Okay, now we're going to install the fork legs using the cool metal fork tube slide over. We've already installed the uh, cool metal uh, fork extension in this one. You just unscrew the uh, stock one, put the O-ring from the stock one onto the cool metal one, and screw it back together. Then you're going to slide your fork can over the top, top of the fork down over, and then your fork assembly is going to slide up inside your pinching tube. Once these are lined up. To set the height on here, your, your fork, your initially the top of your fork cap will be at the top of the cutout on the fork. Okay, once we got the left side installed, now we're going to do the right side the same way. Slide your fork slider lower bell over the fork up inside the tree, bring it up until it's flush with the cutout in the bottom of the pinching tube. If you want at this point, you can go ahead and just set this, uh, the tube up. Just pinch it up a little bit so it doesn't walk down on you. Slide your lower, slide your lower tube up, bottom it out. There's a, there's a cutout in the bottom of the fork tube, you want to line it up with the cutout in the tree. So when you pinch it, they all pinch together. So after you have the front forks up inside, um, what you want to do is come down. It's time now to uh, torque up your torque up all your uh, parts. Uh, you're going to do 18 foot pounds on the uh, quarter 20s and you're going to do uh, 24 foot pounds equally on your 5 16 18 on the lower uh, triple tree. And then uh, past that, uh, it'll be time to start reassembling the bike as you took it apart. Okay, now that we have the, um, the whole front end on, the cans on and everything, the last few components of the kit, um, and each, for each kit, for a street glide, road glide, or road king, it's a different assembly. Of course, this here is our adjustable fairing bracket for the uh, road glide. So it bolts back on using the same holes that you used on the stock bike. So you just slide it over. Put your bottom bolt in. Top bolt in, put your hardware back on. Once again, in your instructions, you'll have all the torque specifications for all these nuts and bolts that, that pertain to the cool metal kit. Now this bike here is ready to remount the fairing to it and all the stock components. Uh, the ride height and everything is set at this point, so basically all you have to do is build your bike back like you took it apart and you're ready to ride.